So a question won't tell you that it's variable acceleration. You're going to have to recognise it because you look at a T and it's to all different powers. And there's a, uh, um, an expression where T is not constant, right? And normally when it is constant acceleration, it says it's constant. So when we've got variable, acceler variable acceleration, we think var, okay? And the S can have an X as well. So we've got displacement, velocity, acceleration. We differentiate down and we integrate up. So D for down and we're integrating up. Okay. So let's, we've got this X, which represents the displacement. We want to know when something's at rest. When something's at rest, the velocity is zero. So to go from X to V, we differentiate. So let's differentiate this. So DX DT. Remember to differentiate, you bring the value down, you take one away from the power. So you're going to get 7t to the power of 5 over 2. Let me take away 1. And then you can bring the next one down and you're going to get 14 times by 14 times by 5 to give you 70. Um, 70, so 14 times by 5, so you're going to get 70 over... Two, so 35 t to the 3 over 2 and then you've got 56 over 3 times by 3 over 2 which is going to give you 28 and that's going to be t to the power of a half okay I'm going to change that I probably should have done that in one go and made that 35 straight away okay looking at that it's not obvious to factorize it or put it in your calculator but hopefully you can see you can take 7 t so you look at the numbers, seven is the smallest number to take out, um, and we're gonna take it out to the power of a half. So you look for the lowest um, lowest power. So this is gonna tell you, this is gonna just be t squared, because remember we add them up, and then we're gonna get five t plus four, and we can see we've got a quadratic. The question says that it wants the non-zero values, so we're not gonna worry about t equaling zero. So this first bit equaling zero. We're just going to do that. You either stick it in your calculator or you can factorise it quickly, hopefully. And you get t equals one and t equals four. Right. Now, when it says language of kinematics inside your um, advanced information, what it's trying to say is you've got to understand the difference between things like speed and velocity, distance and displacement. So now let's think what the distance, total distance travelled is going to be. So what we're going to consider is we're going to consider what happens at zero, at one and at four, because that's when it's changing. OK, so if I stick into the original one, when T equals zero, X equals zero. When T equals one, we're going to get two minus 14 plus 56 over three which gives me 20 over three. And when t equals four, we get, so if I stick four in, I'm gonna get four to the power of, four to the, um, there you go, two times four to the power of seven over two, minus 14 times four to the power of five over two, Right, put those each bit into brackets as you do it. Use your fraction buttons. They're your friends here. You know, it'll make sure you don't make any mistakes in the exam, especially if they're like really fiddly numbers. So three over two, and that gives us minus one, two, A over three. Now that doesn't mean you're going, you know, minus just means you've changed direction. You're going the other way. Right, so we start here. We move to 20 over 3, and then what we're doing, so if you imagine it on, on a line, you're starting over here, you're going to 20 over 3, and then you're going to minus 1, 2, 8 over 3. So the way you've travelled is you've gone up here, and then you've gone back. So it's going to be double the amount of this 20 over 3. So your total distance travelled, if you want to think about it, is going to be so I've started here, I've gone 20 over 3, then I've gone all the way there. But first,
first I've had to go back to the zero mark to get there. So I'm going to have two lots of 20 over 3 plus 128 over 3, which gives you 56. Okay, then we're told the acceleration of P when T is 4. Okay, so we've got the V to go to acceleration, we differentiate again. So we're going to differentiate again. So if we grab our differential, so when we differentiated it, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, our V equals all of this. So if I take that with us. So that's our V. And we've got, so V equals, we differentiate again to give us A. So when we differentiate, we've got seven, 7 times 5 over 2, which gives me 35 over 2. And that's t to the power of 3 over 2. And then we've got 35 times 3 over 2. So 105 over 2. And that's t to the power of a half. And then we've got 28 times a half, so 14. And that's t to the power of minus a half. And we say when t equals 4, a equals, and you can just plug that in a calculator. You can also use your differentiation button. As long as you've shown you've differentiated it, you can then just put it in to get the value. Right, I hope that's useful. And all the questions are coming. They're just a little bit slow today. We've had a bit of a disastrous week.